hello guys so uh, in this video i shall talk about few common questions that are in mind uh, usually for a student who is preparing for the competitive exams in physics like csr net gate or jest so after so regarding uh, the exams and after the interview uh, though mainly i shall talk about the interview process in the few common questions that, uh, that are usually um, in the mind of a student uh, before giving the interview. So let's start. So first of all, let me introduce myself. So I am doing PhD in theoretical physics at the Institute of Mathematical Science, IMSC. It is uh, located in Chennai. So I joined there uh, in the year 2021 uh, from GATE. Actually I had qualified GATE 2021 with rank 31 and JEST 2021 with rank 21. I have also qualified CSIR NET. CSR net 2020 with LS rank 38. I have also qualified the Bark Scientist exam. Bark exam. Exam. I got marks 142.9, where 114 was the around 114 was the cutoff. So I have qualified all these competitive exams and after qualifying GATE uh, with ra this rank, I got call from all of the almost all of the institution, top institution of India for the PhD interview. And I also appeared in many places for the PhD interview. So in almost 80% of the places where I, where I have appeared for the interview, I have tracked the interview. So like the places like TIFR Hyderabad, Hyderabad, IMSC, HRI, JNCSR, SAR, SINP, ICS, and also IIT, few IITs like Delhi, Madras and Bombay in so this I, I, I was also selected for uh, IISC but in the wait list so in in many places I have cracked the interview and uh, after uh, crack, giving many interviews I also did not appear for in many inter, uh, appear for interview in many places so still so I have a lot of interview experience that I can share with you. I, I, I had also given interview in TIFR, Mumbai or, um, or or few PRL or few places where I was not selected. So few, few interviews were bad for me. So after having this much of uh, experience of competitive exams and giving uh, many uh, interview for PhD, so I think I am eligible to answer few of the general questions that are maybe maybe in your mind so let me start so the first question is does ER gap matters so because all of us ER gap because almost almost all of the students who are appearing for the PhD student PhD interview uh, they are preparing for NATE or GATE and believe me, it is not an easy task to bring under 100 rank in any of the competitive exams. So it needs time. So, so, in, in, so in the process of uh, clearing a competitive exam, most of the students uh, take one or two years uh, for this. So this is not an uh, easy uh, 
method so most of the students have year gap and they have a questions like i have year gap so it will affect my impression in the interview or not so the answer is no it will not affect because the teachers know that uh, a clearing a competitive exam is not easy because many of the students have very good knowledge of the basics they have they can do outstanding research but they cannot perform in the competitive exams it it it, it happens with many students there are also students who can who performs very high, very good in the competitive exam but uh, they cannot even answer the basic questions that are, that are asked to him so the interviewer does not check if you have one year gap or two year gap if if they even even if they ask if why did you have one year gap please answer them honestly that sir i was preparing for the competitive exams so i so that, that took me for one year and they will understand so just that is so I, actually uh, my experience is i also had one year gap because i completed my uh, uh, msc in 2020 october and uh, after that i uh, could not clear net though i had also i had uh, qualified jest and uh, gate but with pretty bad rank so that would not allow me to go anywhere in the uh, any good in good institution so but after that i had uh, i had taken one year for the competitive exam and after that i qualified all the uh, exams so so shortly the year gap does not matter just if the interviewer asks you why did you have gap just tell him that yes sir i was preparing for the competitive exams so in this process i had the gap okay so b now the second question is does project matters project so so the short answer is absolutely no project does not matter in any of the good institution they may ask you for the for your project what have you done your in your project they may may ask you because you have if, if if you have done your project then you should know about what you have done or not so but if you have not done your project it absolutely uh, give uh, does not matter because uh, in usually in competitive exams Yeah, uh, sorry. In the interview, they don't check how advanced you are in research area. Okay, so if if you are advanced, then it is okay. They you are uh, then it is okay. It is okay. Obviously, it will, it will be better. But if even if you have not done any project or any you have not any research experience, then also it is okay. It will not affect. But but uh, just uh, but one one thing you just remember that if you have done your project in any of the topic. and if you don't have any good idea about the topic like mean because because i had that because i had done a project in uh, in a experimental quantum matter physics and i did not like that project so and i did not understand that i did not give give, give enough, enough enough time behind the project because that was covid time and it was done in a very rough way so i told the if, if in any mean in uh, any place the interviewer asked that uh what is your project i told him that sir i did this project but uh, due to covid uh, i could not uh, concentrate it uh, on in it much because i want to do mostly in theoretical work but uh, because i could not uh, but uh, after, so you, you can explain why you did not uh, did not understand that project way well a lot you can explain that but mostly if you do, say that you have done a project and you can answer from that uh, project then be, be well prepared because as i was not uh, very much interested in my project i every time anyone asked me uh, what is your project i told them that i don't know much about the project i did not give enough time so uh, please be honest at least so in interview uh, mind always one thing always mind that is don't fake just uh, be honest if you don't know something if you did not do something just tell them because if you don't even if you did not even tell them they will understand so that will prove your dishonesty and this will give a bad impression on them so be honest okay so project does not matter okay 
So, three is uh, does BSc MSc marks matters? Marks. The answer is. So the first question answer is no. It is no, and it is also no. Does not matter. So, but it matters when, because if you have, if you don't have even uh, fifty five percent, fifty five percent in uh, maybe in net, I think. So, uh, in in few places you have to uh, qualify the minimum eligibility. So, if you have first class, so I think that will be enough. So, if you don't have first class, at least then it may be problematic for you to get into a PhD position in few places. But if you have first class and almost all the students have first class in nowadays, so if you have first class in BSc or MSc, then it is enough. No one will care about your marks. No one. Okay. So marks does not matter. Four. Does rank matter? It is big yes. Rank matters. So first of all, think it like this way. The one way is if you don't have under hundred rank, you cannot get even the interview call from the top institution of India, right? So, like in GATE or JEE or NET, even in even in NET, even in NET, if you if you don't have under hundred rank, you don't get uh, call from any of the institution of top institution of India. Okay, so every every institution have a cut off on the NET JRF rank too. In GATE, JEE, they have all they always have. But in NET too, you have to be under hundred rank in any of the competitive exam, NET, GATE, or JEE. Okay, so then you get the interview call, and in almost all the places where you get interview call after being under hundred rank, then rank does not matter. In the interview, they don't judge you by your rank; they will judge you by your interview. Okay, so and uh, and yes, rank and uh, the rank matters where if your if your rank is above hundred. And uh, you are getting to an uh, on an average institutions, then where actually in few places guides actually the person who is taking your interview, he will choose you. So uh, in the at at the interview time, so if your rank is not very good, so it is very normal that no one will like will like to take you. So even if your rank is Uh, above hundred, so the 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 guide who is taking you will check you. Okay, so uh, rank matters. A big yes for that. But yes, so after appearing in the interview in any good any of the top institution, then the rank does not matter. Absolutely not. Okay, and five. It is. Speaking English, it is a English matters. It is no. I don't know if you can understand my English now or not, but believe me, at the time of interview, while giving interview, I did not have any fluency in English. I the I could not even tell the one person what I am speaking right now. I was just I could not I it also happened that in few uh, moments that we could I could not remember even the uh, words I mean say, uh, say I am from a Bengali medium so while studying I I remembered few things in Bengali also so I did not even could not even remember few terms in uh, what is it, what it is called in English so so that is that I so I my English was very bad while giving interview but uh, but not that much not. That much where that they could not understand. My English was broken, very much broken. But I can I could express myself. That is what I am trying to say. And and the interviewers they are they understand that they they will understand what you are trying to say. So I mean uh, it is not it is not hard to uh, convince them that what you are trying to say because they know the answer and if you are even close to the answer they will get said. So this person is going to say that. It is okay, and most of the places they give if if they give you some task to do on the paper, you can easily do do that. So, speaking English does not does not matter. Just 
your knowledge matters. So only thing that matters in your interview is your knowledge and honesty. That uh, that was that that is what I felt. So it does not matter. So I think uh, I have exhausted uh, all the questions that uh, may be in your mind. But uh, there may be few other questions. So you may ask me. You may ask me in the comment section. So I shall try to respond to you that uh, what uh, so may, maybe I, I don't uh, have enough questions so please ask me in the comment section that what is your question uh, if I missed anything or you may also uh, tell something about or your opinion if you have given any interview and what is your opinion so you may uh, tell me that and uh, in the next video what I am planning to do is to tell you the interview what to do in the interview okay so the first thing is to do is the what the first thing the matter is honesty and knowledge okay so this is what matters most but there are few ways that or, or tips that you should always remember before giving an interview so so I shall make a video on that so how you can prepare yourself for the interview uh, and uh, later I shall also make uh, videos, videos on uh, how uh, what types of questions were asked in the places where I have given interview I will make it separate uh, separate uh, videos for all of for all of the places I have given interview and what was the questions asked in these places so I will make a separate videos for you uh, so please and please let me know if the if it helped you or not uh, okay thank you